Ever felt like your graphics card is running a marathon with a backpack full of rocks? Ah, the struggles of a slow graphics card. It's like watching a sloth race a cheetah, isn't it? You're in the middle of an epic battle, your character's sword is gleaming, the enemy's eyes are filled with fear. And then, the screen freezes. You can almost hear your graphics card panting desperately trying to keep up. Or maybe you're trying to render a complex 3D model, and your graphics card is acting like it's been asked to solve quantum physics. It's like asking a toddler to write a thesis on rocket science. Frustrating, isn't it? Yes, we've all been there. The eternal struggle of dealing with a slow graphics card can feel like a never-ending saga, a soap opera of lagging screens and frozen frames. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to be this way. Well, you're not alone. But today, we're going to change that. First things first, we need to understand what's happening under the hood. Imagine your computer as a bustling city. The processor is the city's mayor making all the big decisions. Your hard drive? That's the city's library, storing all your important documents and data. But your graphics card, now that's the city's star artist, painting all the beautiful images on your screen. You see, the graphics card is responsible for rendering the images you see on your monitor. It's the unsung hero that works tirelessly to ensure your gaming, video editing, or even just your casual web browsing experience is visually stunning. But like any artist, when it's overworked, it can start to slow down. When your graphics card slows down, you might notice your games stuttering, your videos lagging, or your screen freezing. It's like the city's artist has suddenly decided to paint in slow motion. And that's not what we want, is it? So, what causes this slowdown? Well, there are a few culprits. First, there's heat. Just like you, your graphics card doesn't perform well under extreme heat. It can cause the card to throttle back its performance or even shut down completely to prevent damage. And trust me, you don't want to experience a graphics card meltdown. Second, there's the issue of outdated drivers. Think of drivers as the instructions that tell your graphics card what to do. If these instructions are outdated, your graphics card might not be able to keep up with the latest software or games. Lastly, there's the question of resources. If your graphics card doesn't have enough memory or processing power to handle the tasks you're throwing at it, it's going to slow down. It's like asking a painter to create a masterpiece with only one brush and three colors. It's just not going to work. So, now that we know what we're dealing with, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. So, your graphics card is struggling, but why, I hear you ask. Well, let's put on our detective hats and start sleuthing. First off, it could be a case of outdated drivers. Much like a car, your graphics card needs a fine-tuned driver to perform at its best. If you've been neglecting those pesky update notifications, it's high time you paid attention to them. Next up, overheating. Picture this, your graphics card is a marathon runner, but it's trying to sprint in the Sahara Desert, it's going to get hot, and it's going to slow down. Overheating can be a major roadblock to high-speed performance. So, if your PC feels like it's doubling as a space heater, you might want to look into that, then there's the possibility of background applications hogging all the good stuff, your graphics card may be too busy juggling unnecessary tasks to deliver the gaming experience you crave. Remember, each case is as unique as the latest limited edition gaming console. Your graphics card's slow performance could be due to one of these issues or a combo of them, or maybe even something entirely different. It's like a game of Clue, but with less murder and more tech. Identifying the problem is half the battle, but now comes the fun part, fixing it. So, grab your toolkit, because we're about to dive into the nitty-gritty of graphics card optimization. Now we're going to discuss the steps to speed up your graphics card. First things first, let's talk about updating your drivers. Think of drivers as the middleman between your computer's hardware and software. If the middleman is outdated, well, you can imagine the chaos that ensues. So, go ahead and check for driver updates regularly. This can be done by visiting the manufacturer's website or using automatic software that does the job for you. Remember, a well-updated driver is a happy driver, and a happy driver means a faster graphics card. Next, we move on to cleaning the hardware. Now I know what you're thinking, but I just dusted my computer last year. Well my friend, dusting once a year might work for your bookshelves but your graphics card needs a little more TLC. Over time dust can accumulate and clog up the fans causing your graphics card to overheat and slow down. So, roll up your sleeves, grab a can of compressed air and give your graphics card a good dusting. Just be gentle, it's not a dust bunny you're dealing with. Finally let's talk about adjusting your settings. This is where you can really make your graphics card sing. You can tweak the settings in your graphics control panel to optimize performance. For example, 
you could adjust the power management mode to prefer maximum performance or tweak the texture filtering to high performance. Remember, every graphics card is a unique snowflake, so what works for your buddy's setup might not work for yours. Don't be afraid to play around with the settings until you find what works best. And there you have it, folks. Simple steps that can make a world of difference. Remember, a well-maintained graphics card isn't just about getting those extra frames per second in your favorite games. It's about ensuring the longevity and efficiency of your hardware. So take the time to show your graphics card some love. Trust me, it'll thank you for it. Now that your graphics card is running smoother than a silk tie, let's keep it that way. Preventing future slowdowns is like keeping your car in top shape. It doesn't just happen. It takes a little effort, some elbow grease, and a smidge of know-how. But hey, you're here, aren't you? So you've got the know-how part covered. Firstly, let's talk updates. Your graphics card, like a moody artist, thrives on regular updates. New drivers often come with performance tweaks that can keep your card running at its peak. It's like feeding your card a steady diet of performance-enhancing vitamins. And the best part? These updates are usually free. So don't be shy, click that update button. Secondly, cleanliness is next to godliness, and that's true for your graphics card too. Dust and grime can slow down your card, causing it to overheat. It's like asking a marathon runner to sprint with weights on. Not fair, right? So, get in there and clean out the dust bunnies, just make sure to turn off and unplug your system first. Safety first, folks. Finally, let's talk about ventilation. Good airflow is like a breath of fresh air for your graphics card. Without it, your card can overheat and slow down. It's like trying to run a race in a sauna. So, make sure your system has good ventilation. Keep it in a cool, dry place, away from direct sunlight. And remember, your graphics card is not a cat. It doesn't like to be cooped up in confined spaces. And there you have it. Three simple ways to keep your graphics card running like a champ. Regular updates, a clean environment, and good ventilation. It's a trifecta of prevention that will keep your graphics card humming along happily. Remember, a little maintenance goes a long way. Just like brushing your teeth or combing your hair, a little upkeep can make a world of difference. So, take care of your graphics card, and it will take care of you. Happy gaming! So, to sum it up, we've taken a journey through the land of lagging graphics and emerged victorious with some real tech wizardry. Remember, the struggle is real, but it doesn't have to be your reality. Knowing the basics about your graphics card is the first step in improving its speed. Don't be intimidated by its complexity, it's just like any other piece of hardware in your system, only a lot cooler looking. Just like a doctor would diagnose an illness before prescribing medication, we need to identify the factors slowing down our graphics card. It could be outdated drivers, excessive dust, or your system might be demanding more than what your card can offer. But fear not, there's always a solution. Once you've diagnosed the issue, it's time to roll up your sleeves and get down to business. Update your drivers, clean up your system, and if necessary, consider an upgrade. It's like giving your graphics card a spa day, rejuvenating and revitalizing it for optimal performance. And remember, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Regular maintenance of your hardware can save you from a lot of headaches down the line. It's like brushing your teeth. Do it regularly, and you'll avoid cavities, or in this case, a sluggish gaming experience. So, say goodbye to the days of your graphics card running a marathon with a backpack full of rocks. And before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech survival tips. Catch you on the flip side.